Hello everyone, this is CypherDeck, and today we're going to be playing a game called My Summer Car. Uh, this is a game where... Why is there a random water noise right there? Uh, this is a game where you are left home for the summer, and you're a teenager, I believe, and you're uh, tasked with uh, taking care of your father's old car, uh, which is completely down to... to um, well, has nothing on it. You gotta, you gotta build the car up from the ground. And uh, you got tons of parts. Tons of parts you gotta work with. You gotta actually build the engine up. Uh, then you need to do the suspension. Uh, put the body parts on. Uh, run the brake lines. Electrical, I believe. And, and so on. Now, I read that um, there are parts that we are going to have to go buy from a store. And just to give you an overview of where we are versus where the towns are, we are here uh, on this peninsula and on that dot. Now, the town where the shop is that we can buy those parts is over here. And then I believe there's a shop over here in Lope or Lop, however it's supposed to be said. Now I think at one of these places we're supposed to get tires and another we can actually get food and drink and all that. Which, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at our provisions. We have some beer, um, you know, because um, 18 year olds in Finland, I guess, drink beer. Eight, uh, I guess that's the legal age. Uh, we got a note here. Don't be lazy. Fix your dad's old car. Uncle's blue van can be loaned. Don't drink alcohol. Uh huh. And um, yeah, we'll be back whenever we get bored. Yours, mom and dad. So in here we have some macaron. We have some pizza, we got some sausages, and we got some milk. So, uh, everything we need to stay healthy. Also, I believe you can drink from the fountain by just pressing Q. <laughs> some of the controls are very odd in this game. And while it does look rather weird and not the greatest of graphics, when it comes to the, uh, the building of the car, I feel that that's where we're going to get our our rush of excitement. So I think what we're going to do today is we are going to work on the engine. We're going to try to get the engine as far as we can and then we'll find out what parts we're missing and then the next day we'll go and grab all those parts. So um, let's do that. So let's just take a look in here. Uh, let's clean off the bench a little bit. Looks like we have a um, I see I think we can put that down there. We're not gonna need that for a while uh, Let's see we can put this over here uh, Lights, I think we can right-click To throw yet not like these are gonna break or anything so we can we can just throw those over there Do the same for for that and uh and that okay so we have a little toolbox here we can press f on it to open it up and you'll see that we have many gauges of wrenches uh, we have a ruler i'm guessing that's going to be for timing uh we have a spark plug wrench and a screwdriver as well so uh yeah there's that and then we have a parts catalog so one of the things that I think is really bad right off the bat is the fact that you have this overlay that's over the parts catalog. I can see that that's $219 for the uh, rear windshield fins, but it just doesn't look clean that way. So I, I kind of wish this was moved all the way over into the corner, uh, but you know, I don't control my UI, they control it. Um, so anyway, it looks like all the body parts that we may need or want, uh, wheels, uh, that's one thing I noticed. We don't have any rims, uh, or wheels in here. Then we have, you know, the accoutrement, the, uh, 
the steering wheel covers, the seat covers, the dash covers, because some people just gotta gotta make it look, you know, shiny and, and different. Uh, regular steering wheel there, it looks like, and then I'm guessing that's a, you know, uh, a muffler tip, maybe? Honestly, I have no clue what that is, and I don't, I am not Finnish, so I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, then we have our gauges, our, um, our accessories, our Vilpain, um, audio system that we can get, both, um, both the speakers and amps, as well as the, the head unit. It's kind of nice, good deal. Then we're getting into our racing stuff. Our racing clutch, it looks like here. Uh, we have our headers. Definitely a muffler there. Um, and I, I'm going to guess that's brake lines, maybe? Or maybe that's fuel lines? I, I don't know. This is a, it's a four-cylinder four engine. Really no place that you have to take fuel lines to the back of the vehicle. So... Um, and then you have a uh, carbureted, it looks like, um, system there. Oh, and then we get into the real stuff. Uh, we get our intercooler. We get a, um, a um, fuel-injected system going. Ooh, wrenches. Definitely going to put that on there. It's not very costly. We have 3,000 money. Uh, so definitely gonna get that um, and then of course if we want to get to NOS and then finally the rest of the racing items this is a steering wheel you'll see here uh, it's more for drifting that way you kind of know the position of the steering wheel uh, whenever you you're in a drift and then of course real seat belts uh, real racing seats and that's when we may get to that point I don't have a clue how we're gonna make money in the game and uh oh some shocks as well that we can get and uh yeah so i'm gonna go ahead and order that uh we'll go ahead and put this over here I, i'm guessing we're gonna have to take that to town to to get that taken care of so let's just get started and uh and work on the block this roughly took me 37 minutes to build and while i was building it it made me really nostalgic there were some games that I played whenever I was younger. One came out in the late 80s, I believe, maybe early 2000, uh, called Straight Rod. The other one um, was called Hot Rod Online. And I believe it came out between 2000 and 2005, something along those lines. The thing that Street Rod did is it was the first game, it was a side-scrolling style pixelated racing game where you um you got to build your engines and you would race for money and pink slips and that kind of thing and it really just made me harken back to that time because this is that game but better and more realistic you can see right there I'm working on the timing, uh, but for some reason I forgot to put the timing chain on. And one of the things I really like about the game is it's unforgiving. Uh, if you forget to put a tiny timing chain on and you put the timing chain cover on and everything else that goes with it, you have to undo those, which is something that I ended up having to do. The other game that I was remembering, which is Hot Rod Online, which if you look for it anywhere, you cannot find it. It was like it was wiped off the face of the planet. Uh, and the way I found it was through um, MMORPG.com back in the day, because that's was, that was where you went to find games. Um, Ferentis was a game that I played. That was something I found on that on that website. But yeah, so can't find anything. I can't find any forums that have heard of the game or anything along those lines. But what made that special is it was more like this in the fact that you built your engine to specificity, meaning that you put on a racing water pump, you put on a racing 
um, clutch. You put on all these things and you'd have people that you could like become friends with and they would build your engine for you. You'd say, Hey, I'm looking for an engine with this timing and this is what I'm using it for. And they would build it for you. But, um, you had to be a little bit savvy and not a child when you were playing the game because of the fact that people would straight up steal your engines. Uh, send your engine over. I'll work on it. Whatever. Uh, well, they, they were just asking you to give away the only thing that you had to allow you to play the game uh, or make money with because your your engine was your money. If you didn't have an engine to race, there was no money to come in. And even if you came in last place, you did get some kind of complimentary prize that you could put towards upgrading your car a little bit. But uh, what you would want to do is you'd want to say, hey, this is the kind of engine I'm looking for, timing, uh, horsepower, whatever, and they would build it, and then you would buy it from them. You wouldn't send them your block. They would buy a block off the market, and then they would build it up. And um, you would get to become well-known on the game, and it really hyped, um, hyped me up because I just really had a lot of fun with it. But now it's completely gone, and whenever I played it last, it was probably around 2004, I, and maybe it's not called Hot Rod Online, maybe it's called something else, but to be honest, I'm pretty sure it was named after a magazine, and Hot Rod is the only one I can think or come up with at the moment. So, uh, yeah, I was sad, sad to find out that I can't even find the game to show you guys, the pictures or whatever. But, I do still have Street Rod. So, if you guys want me to play that... Actually, you know what? I'm probably going to play it anyway. And, and just record it. Because that will bring back the feels for sure. What I really enjoy about this game is... Not only is it really specific and you have to put in every bolt. Uh, you have to build every part of your car. Um, but... There are multiple vehicles that you have access to. There, actually, I have three vehicles that are running right now that I have access to. And we'll show you those in the next video. But the thing about those is each one of those is quirky. And they have their realistic things you got to deal with to make them work. And um, you have to learn the controls for them. And it kind of makes it a little bit, you know, special in that, in that way. They may not be the best vehicles they, or anything along those lines, but they are something. And that is that is really what I enjoy about the game, is just that those little details. Even though you have this Finnish... Fin, is fin, did I say Finnish? Like I was mixing Finnish and English together. Finnish. The, um, Finlandish uh, humor going on in the game. And... Um, every, when you get dirty, you start to hear mosquitoes more and, and bugs whenever you, um, <laughs> you get to a point where, um, you, you need to relieve stress. There's only a few ways to do it. One is cursing. The other is, um, smoking, drinking, taking, um, taking time in the sauna because everyone in Finland has to have a sauna, right? Because of the fact it's cold, and you go outside, you wash yourself with snow, and then you go in the sauna and cool down and relax. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's kind of uh, that, that little humor to it that makes it really fun. And um, even as you saw in the beginning when we were looking through the magazine, I don't speak Finnish. I have no clue what a lot of those things were that they were, that it was allowing me to buy. I mean, I'm going to buy that pipe not knowing if it's a muffler or if it's just the pipe that uh, I don't know what it's going to be. But yeah, it's um, has that to it. Um, and I, I think once we get to a point where we're actually doing jobs and making money, I really want to just see where this game goes because I feel that there's always going to be that kind of I don't know, nostalgia or, or feeling or quality to the game that is, is going to make me want to play it even more. And I tried to stay away from watching anyone playing the game because of the fact that I don't, I don't want 
I don't want that. I don't want that kind of um, knowledge. Uh, all I know is that through reading just the, the notes of the game, because I've owned the game since the game came out, since it was released on Steam a long time ago. I've owned the game. I've just never done anything with it. Uh, but I know that there's a boat I have available to me. I know that there's a moped kind of thing that I have available to me, and I know there's a tractor, and um, there's a tr um, a van that I get access to later on, apparently, through my uncle, which I think uh, we read that on the on the note, or we will read that on the note if I haven't already done done so. But yeah, it, it's um, it's one of those really cool little games that I was just happy to find and, and play now. I, I don't know why I waited so long, but I'm, I'm definitely infatuated with, with the game. So, uh, yeah. Um, I think the last few things I did working on this is I was getting, um, the oil pan on and then, uh, I was trying to see where the coil attached because, I didn't, I knew it, it didn't attach to the engine and I was trying to find where it would attach on the car. And then I noticed it was really dark outside. So I, I didn't have a clue if it was still nighttime or if we moved into the morning because I, I was, like I said, I was here for a while working on this and you can see all my, my health bars are, are pretty low, but yeah, I, I'm really enjoying the game, and I hope you enjoy it as well. Uh, let's go ahead and continue on. Alright, so it looks like we got a lot done today. Um, it looks like things that we're missing are... I'll put I'll put the entrance uh, gear on tomorrow, but it looks like things that we're missing are spark plugs, um, alternator belts... Uh, well, we don't have fluids either. We need rims. Uh, we have some fuel here, it looks like. Um, so yeah, we got some stuff we're gonna have to go buy at the store tomorrow. Again, we have our envelope here. Let's see what time it is. I may have, uh, went all the way through the night, uh, to be honest. Um, I had that one mishap that ended up happening where I, com I completely forgot to put the timing belt or timing chain on. Uh, let's see here. Uh, and I know I'm very, very thirsty. So it is, well, it's not that bad. I, I didn't go into midnight, uh, but it's definitely 1115. Let's go ahead and take care of our thirst. Um, okay, that took care of most of it, and we'll eat that. For some reason, that makes us even more thirsty. Let's go ahead and have a beer, because I believe that helps with stress. And that is definitely something we're going to have to take care of tomorrow. Um, stress is a thing that... Uh, goes down with a few things. You can swear, you can um, throw up the middle finger, you can take a sauna, you can um, uh, you can smoke cigarettes. And that's the main thing. That will take away your stress pretty quickly. Fatigue, of course, dirtiness. Uh, I am going to go ahead and take a sauna. Hopefully that will relieve our stress a little bit. Uh, but it's going to take some time to get it ready. So I figured I would take you for a walk around the house real quick while we're waiting for the sauna to warm up. Um, so the very back room, uh, well, let's start from the front. So here, here's how you get out to the car. Uh, we have our map, our telephone here, our little foyer. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure I said that incorrectly, foyer. Go ahead and turn on the light in here. This is our bedroom. Like I said, we're a kid. Uh, high concept video horror. Hmm. Uh, we have a boombox there. A thousand kilometer circuit. So this is something that um, I believe we're trying to gear up for. But honestly, I have no clue. I, I know that 
There is racing. Oh, there's a basketball. Can we play basketball? I mean, I guess so. I don't like that you go straight to prone. Kind of wish there was something where you can just stamp. Oh, space. Space. Look at that balancing job right there. Got a boom box. Let's check this thing out. Okay. Oh, sounds like someone's getting punched in the gut. Okay. <laughs> Just in case that's proprietary information. Um. Can't can't call anyone. Uh, nothing there. Kitchen, you know about. Um, laundry room, which we, we have no ability to use. Um, shower. Sauna. And for those of you who need to know how to use it, there's two little dials down here. And you just use a scroll wheel to turn them up. Now... We need to put water in this bucket because how else are we gonna be able to uh, to heat the stones or splash the stones or whatever you call it? I actually have no clue what it's called. Alright, I think that's it. Oh, that's the shower. Oh, forgot space bar. Let's go ahead and put that there. Put that back on top of there. So there is a thermometer, by the way. It's hilarious. Um, we need this to get pretty high, I think, for it to actually be usable. And you can tell I'm getting dirty because you'll start hearing the flies fluttering around. Um, back here, this is our deck. Uh, we have a place we can sit down and talk to people, I guess. Um, I believe right back that way, which I'll show you in the morning, is where our uncle lives. And uh, we have some vehicles that we do have access to. Uh, we have this room. It's, uh, do we even have a light for this room? Kind of hard to tell at night, but... It's a little storage room, some racks there. Maybe you can see them, maybe you can't. Um, bathroom. This isn't usable, uh, thank goodness. I mean, why would you want to drink out of this faucet? Uh, and you can save here too. Uh, it, you can save and quit to the menu. There is no just straight up save. Uh, also, when you pee, uh, you can pee in here if you want to. Looks like I'm out of juice. Um, but you can also pee anywhere you want to in the game. Our living room. Uh, it looks like around 9 o'clock at night the TV goes off. And then you have some kind of music. So, there's that. Uh, I don't think there's anything over here we can access. A little uh, toy there. This is our parents' room. Again, can't access anything over there. What? There's something in here for us. Holiday present. Okay. Jump. And are we able to use this? Is that a thing? 80 kilo? Um, 80 kil kilograms? Some, I, I think. Uh, I'm not. Uh, I'm not a follower of the metric system, so I, I honestly don't know. Okay, so this actually is a present for me. It looks like so that's pretty cool. Let's throw that on the table. All right, and let's see what's in it. 
All right, so we have some booze, some some vodka. It looks like maybe. Uh, we have a diskette. Can't do anything with that. I don't know of a computer that we have access to. And it looks pretty dirty, too. I mean... That's a, that's a dirty... Fingers to touch that thing. That's for sure. Um, we also have... A radar buster. Definitely... Definitely gonna have to have that. And then... A random gift, it says. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. And it gives us some money. Uh, we got 500 in... 39 uh, money, which is good because we're going to need that for when we go and buy those parts because I have no clue how much rims are going to cost. That seems like it's going to be very costly. All right. It looks like we're good for the sauna. Let's see how our stress goes with this. Okay, I wasted that water. Oh, hey, our stress did go down pretty pretty good. Boom, it's going down in chunks. But is it going back up just as fast? I can't tell. Maybe I just have a lot of stress built up. Okay, it's going down. Okay. I'm gonna have to get some more water here soon. Oh, that sucks. Our dirtiness isn't going down, though. That's a thing. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Soak up that, that relaxation. What? It's right over the stones! Come on, buddy! Are you kidding me now? There we go. Soak that up. Oh, we're out. Okay. Um, let's put that down. Let's get some more um, some more water. We need to relieve all of our stress. We had to, it took us probably five minutes to wait for this thing to heat up. Definitely gonna get the most out of it. Oh, come on now. Don't waste water. Get back in here. Well, that wasn't... Okay, so you can get it as long as you're just not standing too close to it. There we go. And we are relieved of stress. All right. Let's go ahead and put that back on there. We're going to turn this guy off. Alright, stress relieved. <laughs> Alright, let's go ahead and take a shower real quick. Get all that dirtiness off of us now that we have relieved our stress. Alright. 
think we did uh i think we did a good job today we were able to get most of our engine built we were able to take a shower get get our stress relieved and um it's uh, time for bed now hopefully you guys enjoyed this is cyber deck peace out Let me know down below how you feel about the video. Press that like if you like what I post. And if you want to see more, you guys can subscribe. Click that bell to know when my videos go live. I hope you all had yourselves a good old time. We joked around, had ourselves a good night. Oh yeah, guys. Here we go. To the bridge. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night, good night. Good night, good night, good night. Break it down. Side of a day. Peace out.